Ukraine says at least one person has been killed in the Odessa region after Russia launched a missile and drone attack early on Wednesday. Ukraine's military says the aerial bombardment on the Danube port lasted for hours and damaged agricultural facilities used for grain exports. Well, let's bring in Rob McBride. He's in Krivy Re for us. Uh, Rob, this was a three-hour long attack? Yeah, th these attacks tend to last for a couple of hours each time, and we have seen these nightly attacks uh, a number of times in uh, the past few weeks. Once again, it was these uh, river port facilities based in the south of the Odessa region feeding into the Danube River system that were targeted, in particular the port city of Ismail. A uh, number of facilities, uh, grain, uh, grain storage facilities and handling facilities were damaged. Uh, we are getting reports of casualties. At least one person is said to have been killed. He died of his injuries later uh, in uh, hospital. But we've seen these kind of attacks uh, taking place uh, pretty much consistently for more than a month now, ever since the cancellation of the uh, Black Sea grain deal back in July. There have been other attacks overnight uh, as well. The uh, Ukrainians say a total of more than 30 uh, projectiles, be they cruise, ballistic missiles or drones, were targeted at Ukraine overnight, uh, some of them uh, down around the Danube, but also at uh, Kyiv, the capital uh, itself. The air defences were working uh, it during the early hours of the morning, around about day break. Uh, these attacks on Kyiv usually happen during the hours of darkness, at least more recently they have been doing so. Uh, but again, there were attacks uh, on Kyiv. Air defences were working at uh, daybreak. Uh, and it's been more than a week now uh, since we've had an attack on the capital itself. Uh, Rob, around Odessa, it looks like it was a lot of a grain export infrastructure that was damaged. After that meeting with Putin and Erdogan, where are we now on the grain deal? Yeah, there does seem to be a certain amount of ambivalence here in Ukraine just about this whole grain deal. There is a, a, a lot of cynicism about renewing this uh, grain deal and about the importance of it and about uh, whether in, in trying to renew this grain deal, uh, about giving too many concessions to the Russians, there would certainly be pushback from Ukrainians uh, about that. Because in any case, over the many months uh, that we, they've been struggling to export their grain through the Black Sea, uh, the Ukrainians have found alternative routes, these routes down uh, the river ports that into the Danube and then to neighboring Romania uh, through uh, the, uh, the corridor there, also through land routes. But they've also been trying to operate uh, this uh, sea corridor of their own from Odessa across the Black Sea. And we haven't had many ships using that, but over the weekend, two more vessels managed to make the journey safely to uh, Romania and to Bulgaria uh, from Odessa. That's without any guarantees uh, from the Russians. So there do seem to be alternatives to that. And then there also there is the view here in Ukraine that you know, Vladimir Putin in talking about feeding the hungry of Africa it's uh, on the stage in, in Sochi. If he was really genuine about that, then people here would say, well, uh, maybe he should stop uh, destroying the grain exporting facilities that Ukraine has on the Danube River.